All right, in this video, we're going to look at the Beretta APX, which is a Micro 9, and the Taurus GX4, which is another pistol. And the reason I'm separating the video is I brought this along as a control. I wanted to do an experiment. Uh, what I did is I had my wife shoot both pistols. She has never fired either one before. And from a person who is, say, inexperienced or not familiar with either one of these weapons, I wanted to prove a point on which one was easier for her to just pick up and use, okay? And shoot the controls, slide release, all that other stuff, okay? Uh, so we'll show this in this series of us on the range, and then later on, I will make videos giving the detailed uh, results or basically the pros and cons of what we liked or didn't like with each of these different pistols. Alright, so enjoy the footage and stay tuned because there will be more. You know, hit the like button, subscribe, and there's a link to my Patreon account if you'd like to send some support to the channel. Okay, the missus has uh, agreed to do some testing. The slide release is difficult for her to operate. So if you can't pull, pull the slide back. Alright, and then some issues with the trigger. Doesn't quite like it. You're shooting low. You're anticipating recoil. Better. Okay. All right, get another mag through. Okay, that's not, you kind of don't like that too much, do you? Mm -mm. No. Rough on the hand, mm -hmm. trigger is difficult, and not good. Anticipating recoil, pushing downward on the gun. Alright, let's try an experiment. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have the wife take the Taurus GX4, which as you've seen, she can use the slide stop and that. And in all fairness, I put the extended magazine out. So it is similar to the, uh, the Beretta. And she's never really shot. Light strike again? Alright. Hold on. Okay. So so far we had two light strikes to ammo, but that is the way it has been since we got it. But, ease of operation, uh, she can get the slide release to work with the extended magazine. It's a higher capacity, and as you see, uh, 
a lot of the shooting is a lot better. We got better hits. Okay, uh, my wife's one complaint, she does not like the trigger, something about the trigger on the Beretta. She anticipates it and it throws her whole game off. Uh, she seemed to like that Taurus uh, a lot better, handle it better, and shoot better. All right, I took the light strikes out of the Taurus and put them in a Beretta. And we're going to see if we can get them to go off. Yeah. So, functionality on this gun is a lot better. Uh, the Taurus, unfortunately, with that ammo, I've always had light strikes. Uh, they don't sell a stronger striker spring for this, which would change the trigger pull. So now what... Okay, so... 124 grain max tech. I myself have trouble with the slide release on a Beretta. But let's see. And what sucks about one mag is got to reload. Okay. Alright, let's go take a look. Like I said, not the best, but for defense, handgun, just pulling out and shooting, that's adequate. Uh, so just as a control, I'm going to shoot my Taurus on this other target and see how I do. Okay, just for the hell of it, I'm going to take my Taurus GX4, which is my carry gun. Uh, their extended magazine holds 11 rounds with the extended base plate. So, a bit of a sheer advantage. The grip is wider. It is easier to use the slide stop. But I'm just going to see what I can do with this gun. And with this pistol, I carry a certain type of ammo, blazer brass, because it doesn't light strike. And we're out fooling around with this, with the uh, Norma. It had two light strikes. I don't know if I had any with the Max Tech with this gun. Put a few more down there. Okay, we're going to run the Taurus some more. Put the little short mag in. Let's see how we do.
around and take a look. Well, the Taurus was more consistent, but I'm off. So, really, in reality, I can't give a fair comparison on accuracy because I ain't shooting too good today. So the Taurus went off, and as you see, I got my problem going to the left, and was a little bit better with the Beretta, but I'm going to call accuracy about the same on both, and that's because of me, my shooting abilities, not, not the guns. So I can't really give a fair assessment uh, if the Beretta is accurate. But I will do uh, another video talking about what I found with the Beretta, and we'll discuss that in another video. All right, now fairness to the Beretta. Uh, I come here cold in the morning, you know, not practicing, and started shooting, it didn't look good, but after we were done filming, I said, you know what, let me burn up some of this old ammo, and I went, took the Beretta, and started shooting at the target. And with practice, there is something about that trigger. There's a way you got to pull it. I started putting them all right in the nine. Okay. Uh, this gun, probably before you give up on it, I'd say to put a good 400 rounds or so through it and just sit there and just practice. And it'll come around. Okay, like I said, the, the crappy shooting was me. But once you got to where you're getting your grip, your trigger pull and that, the gun did perform a lot better for what it is.